Hey folks, today I'm going to talk to you about how to create a data dashboard for your digital portfolio. Before you can create this data dashboard, you need to decide what kind of data you are going to be tracking over time. So you can choose for your digital portfolio from a number of things. Uh, a lot of people would choose to track their rise or what we used to call stage scores over time. Uh, some people might want to track their test scores in a specific class. You can basically track whatever data you would like, uh, but it needs to come at a regular interval. So if you have a, a math test every at the end of every unit, that would be a great thing to track. If you have a vocabulary test in English every Friday, that would be a great thing to track. So you could track anything you want as long as it gives you multiple points of data over a certain period of time. Today I'm going to show you how to find and use the data from your RISE test or SAGE test. I'm going to show you how to find it and then how to use that information to create a data dashboard. But I want you to keep in mind, again, you can use any type of data that you're going to have multiple data points for. So the first thing we need to do is log in to your portal. And to do that, you go to myweber.wsd.net and use your information to sign in. Once you've signed in, you're going to see your dashboard. Click on the arrow next to Selected Student. From there, you're going to choose Documents. Once you've chosen Documents, you're going to have a list of your test scores over time. So we call it RISE, we've called it SAGE, we used to call them CRTs way back when. So what it says here might be different for you, but this is what we're talking about as far as the test scores. Pick uh, your first data point. You can decide to start from the bottom and work to the top or start from the top and work from the bottom, but that's how you're going to get the data for your data dashboard. Once you've clicked on one of those, it's going to pull up your individual student report and this is where you're going to find the information that you're going to want to put in your dashboard. So it, your scale score is a great thing to track. So this is a scale score of a seventh grade math test and I can find it in two different places. I can find it up here. I can also find it over here on this side. One thing uh, I wanted to point out is while tracking your overall scale score for each subject is a great idea, you could also go a little deeper and track your scores in each of the reporting categories for these tests. So when you're testing in math, they're dividing it into these five categories. When you're testing in English, there's specific categories and science has specific categories as well. And those would be really fun to track also because they give you those multiple data points that you can use. All right, next we're going to go to our Google Drive and hopefully you've uh, been listening to these tutorials enough to know that it's the easiest thing in the world to have a portfolio folder in your Google Drive that you work from so that everything for your portfolio is inside of there. So here's my portfolio folder. And once I click into that, the next thing I need to do is add a new Google Sheet. So once I have this new Google Sheet, this is where I'm going to keep track of all those points of data that we've been talking about. First, we're going to give it a name. And I think for this one, I'm going to show you how to track those RISE scores. So go ahead and call it RISE scores. So as we make our Google Sheet, we need to create kind of a chart in order to fill in the data. And as we do that, 
we're going to eventually be making a graph out of that. So if you can picture a bar graph, then you can kind of picture what we're doing here. We're going to uh, do the top row. Row one is going to be kind of the, the bars of our graph. I'm going to want a space to track my scores over the years. So I'm going to go all the way back to sixth grade and I'm going to put spaces for each of the grades. And then down the side on column A, I'm going to put my subjects that I'm tested in. And in RISE, we're tested in math and science and language arts. And since you know how to find those numbers, you'll go to your WSD portal and you'll find those numbers and plug them in. All right, so now I have all the scores that I have um, received on my RISE tests over the last three years. And now for the fun part, we're gonna turn this into a bar graph. Highlight the data points. I'm gonna not I'm not gonna highlight ninth grade yet because I don't have any data for that yet. So let me just highlight what I have. And once I let go, I am gonna go up to insert and choose chart. Then I have quick as a wink a chart that shows me my scores. And it's great because it's already color coded for me. I know all the blue lines are sixth grade, all the red lines are seventh grade, the yellow lines are eighth grade. Come on over to this editor over here and choose what type of chart I want. So if I don't want this bar graph, I can choose to have a line chart. I want my graph to go this way. So you can make it uh, however you'd like. You can also customize and kind of change some of the other things if you want to get crazy. But we're not going to worry about any of that today. What I do want to show you is now how to add this chart into your digital portfolio. So I'm going to click on these three dots right here and I'm going to choose to download this as a PDF. Next, I need to add it to my Google Drive. So I go back to my portfolio folder and click New. This time, I'm gonna choose File Upload. And then I'm gonna find my PDF version of the bar graph we just made and add it right here. Now, one thing I need to do before I navigate away from my portfolio is I need to give sharing permissions so that anybody who is looking at my portfolio will also be able to see this. Otherwise, they'll get an error message or a can't view. And so to do that, I do a right click and I click on uh, share and then down here on advanced and I need to change this private only access. Yours looks a little different than mine, but you're gonna choose the Weber School District. Anyone at Weber School District can find and access, and then click Save and Done. So now it's time to add it to my digital portfolio. And because I have everything here in my portfolio folder, I don't have to go far to do that. I just click on and open up my digital portfolio. Now, this is new, this dashboard. So I am going to add a new page in order to keep track of all my uh, data. So I'm gonna go to page and this plus sign to add a new page. And I'm going to call it my data ooh, dashboard. And now I have a place where I can make as many of those awesome little bar graphs or charts as I want and upload it here to my dashboard. So to do that, upload it, we're going to go to the insert tab. 
And because I saved it in my Google Drive, all I have to do is click from Drive. And it's going to pull up. And all I need to look for is my portfolio folder. And there's my chart right there. So when I double click that, it's going to pop it right in. So that's pretty slick, pretty amazing. If I wanted to go through and add a little bit of text about um, what I've been tracking, I get, can add a text box right here. And I can talk about how I I can talk about how I've been tracking my progress throughout the years on RISE. I can make a plan for how I'm going to study and work hard to do better this year than I did the year before. So that's how I make a data dashboard. And it does have several steps, but once you've done it once or twice, it's pretty easy. Remember, if you have questions, you can always come and talk to me in the library, and I'm happy to help you with whatever you need.